<clears throat> Hello, lovely, lovely people. I hope you're well. Um, just waiting for lovely people to join. Hello, so nice to have you, everybody. Hi, Nagis. Hi, Muhammad. Nice to have you, everybody. Oh, my goodness, it's suddenly jumped up. <laughs> Lovely to have you, everybody. Uh, thank you for joining. Thank you again for giving me your Sunday evening. I know you've got other things to do as well. Um, I really like it. Some students tell me, Layla, I'm washing the dishes while I'm listening to your live. Layla, I'm driving or I'm an Uber driver and I listen to you while I'm... Uh, driving or you know all these kind of things it's wonderful to hear how you're multitasking you know you're multitasking you're doing two three jobs at the same time it's wonderful lovely hello hello lovely people so nice to have you so nice to see you welcome welcome to this online friendly judge free zone we're not going to judge anybody no we're all here to learn a bit of English. I'm here to learn a bit of Farsi. <laughs> um, so we're all here to learn in any case. Okay, lovely. Uh, very nice to have you. Very nice to see you. Fantastic. Uh, I was just talking to a few students actually about what's going on in Turkey. That's interesting, isn't it? The, the election that they've got, the, the election they've got going on in Turkey, the election they have going on in Turkey. That's interesting, isn't it? From what I understand, um, usually it's the Erdogan, sorry, my pronunciation, it's Mr. Erdogan that is usually elected and he is the, the winner all the time. But this time, <coughs> excuse me, this time uh, it seems as though he's got competition. There's someone else in the race as well. Somebody else wants to um, be, be the next president as well. We'll have to wait and see. And it would be interesting to see how this new president might impact the political situation in the Middle East. That would be interesting as well. We'll have to wait and see, wait and see what happens. Anyway, it's interesting. It's it's interesting. Uh, a country, people of a country are mm, kind of like happy, satisfied with their president in Turkey for so many years. But then um, suddenly the people want change. This is happening in lots of other countries as well. People want change. Yeah. So surely. Um, oh, Erdogan declares victory. Apparently Erdogan has won. Is that right? I can just see the headlines on the BBC News. Apparently he's won. So it was a very tight race, though. Very tight, tight. It was a very tight race um, between the two. Okay. Right. Where are you from? I'm from the UK. Where are you from? <laughs> okay. Uh, Erdogan won. Yes, Erdogan has won again. I don't know if that's good or bad for the people of the country, but... Hopefully they're happy. Um, hello from Kermanshah. Hello from all over, wherever you are. Thank you so much for joining me. Excellent, lovely. اول هر جلسه خدا معرفی میکنم. این جلسه فقط به زبان انگلیسی هست. بعد از اینکه خدا معرفی کردم، لیلا هستم. اگر تازه با پیج من آشنا شدید، خیلی خوش آمدید. Um, معمولا هر یه هفته در میون یه هفته فقط انگلیسی یه هفته انگلیسی و ترجمه فارسی داریم این هفته فقط به زبان انگلیسی هست um, و چیزهایی که میگم رو سعی میکنم با ترجمه فارسی توی کپشن بذارم هر هفته که افراد ببینن برای دو روز تقریبا دو روز این ویدیو توی اینستاگرام میمونه on my page بعد ترانسفرش میکنم به یوتیوب uh, چنل یوتیوب چنلی که دارم و اینها همه استوری هست میذارم توی استوری گذاشتم توی هایلایت تمام لینک ها رو هم دارید های های تاکس فور جوینینگ پس uh, اینطور نیست که این لایف ها رو پاک بکنم اصلا 
اینها رو میذارم توی کانال اینستاگرام برای هر موقعی که دوست داشتید بتونید ببینید اوکی سو دتس دی فارسی اولسو بیفور وی استارت ثانک یو تو ایوری بادی هو انرولد اون مای لیسنینگ کورس مای لیسنینگ کورس دی کورس ویل استارت تومورو اند پیپل هو انرولد you yourselves chose which day and which time you want enrollment is now closed the course will start tomorrow if there's anybody who wants to do a listening course with me again you can do it when this course has finished and this course because it's the first time i'm doing listening course online i'm doing an, an online listening course it's just for seven weeks i just want to test the waters That's your idiom. I just want to test the waters. I'm going to write this down. Um, I just want to, just want to test the waters. Um, that means I just want to see, you know, I just want to try it just to see how it goes. Because, uh, of course, I've taught listening before, but I've never taught listening online before so this is going to be a new experience for me teaching listening online we'll see how it goes um i've got some really really good listening material for the students but if anybody wants to join listening later you can do it later when i when i have this course again we're also starting the speaking one course tomorrow speaking one uh, that enrollment has not closed that enrollment is open because it's a course that you can study by yourselves and then every sunday i will be available on zoom you can come and you can ask your questions and we'll practice a little bit more okay uh, so everybody on the speaking course everybody on the listening course you should have received an email from me today please go and check your emails check the junk check all the different folders that you might have in your email and find that email because that's got important information ready for next week okay can't wait to start fantastic right so let's get on to this week's lesson um this week's lesson is about either either some people say either now in the uk the uk pronunciation is either 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 is more american however in the uk people say either people say either so both of them are understandable and both of them are correct it's your choice which one you want to use but uh typically um either is british either is american but we use both of them okay uh lovely yes so the lesson for tonight for tonight is either either and i'm going to teach you four different um four different situations four different functions that we can use with either and once this video has finished i'm going to write all of these in the caption as well so you'll see the first one is when we use either as an adverb the first one is when we use either as an adverb and it goes all the way at the end of the sentence okay uh all the way right at the end in this type it's very important that the sentence before either is negative so the first one is we're going to learn either as an adverb the sentence before it has to be negative okay so this is my sentence let's say for example uh you have asked me leila do you know of any good hairdressers do you know of any good hairdressers leila do you know of any good hairdressers and i say yes blah 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 hairdresser in i don't know manchester is really good and this is what i say the prices are reasonable the prices are reasonable that means the prices are good yeah not too expensive not too cheap they're reasonable the prices are reasonable that's my positive sentence that's fine the prices are reasonable and now my next sentence has to be negative if i want to use either listen they won't keep you uh they won't keep you for long they won't 
keep you for long either. Okay, so that's two things I'm saying which are good things. One sentence is positive, one sentence is negative, and I've used either. I'm going to say it again. The prices are reasonable. That's a good thing. Positive sentence. And they won't keep you for long. That means you don't have to wait there very long. That's a good thing as well, isn't it? It's a negative sentence, but it's a good thing. You don't have to wait for long. They won't keep you for long either. Either. So the prices are reasonable and they won't keep you for long either. That's where we've used either. It's come right at the end of the sentence. We've used it as an adverb. Right before either, I need to have a negative sentence. London 2022. The prices are reasonable and they won't keep you for long either. Fantastic. Fantastic. So somebody has asked me, Layla, do you know of a good hairdressers? Layla, do you know of a good mechanic? Layla, do you know of a good restaurant? Do you know of a good cafe? Do you know of a good anything? And if I want to say good things, then this is how I can use either. OK, they won't keep you for long either. Um. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, it is nickname seven. Always we have trouble in net connection. I'm really sorry to hear that. Is it my internet connection or do you mean your internet connection? If it's mine, uh, I do apologize. Hopefully it'll get better. If it's yours, please don't worry because this is being recorded. It's going to stay on my page and then I'll transfer it to YouTube, YouTube and it will live on YouTube then. I'm not going to take it off. OK. Um, very good. Uh, Nasi Masar, can we say they don't keep you for long uh, either? They don't keep you for long. Yes, yes, absolutely. Because that is the way they are all the time. Present simple. Absolutely. They don't keep you for long. Um, Shahra, your connection is fine. Thank you so much. OK, lovely. Thank you. And uh, Sarah, yours is good. Thank you for clarifying that. OK, lovely. So that was the first one. We used either as an adverb. Yeah. My first sentence, it can be positive, negative, whichever one you want. The second sentence before either has to be negative, has to be negative. So the prices are reasonable and they won't keep you for long either. So that's two good things, two good things. OK. Uh, the next one, I'm going to use it as a conjunction. And this is when you give a choice. Uh, either can only be used with two choices. We can only have two choices. You're going to give two choices to somebody. You're going to say this one or this one. Which one? That's what you're going to say. And we're going to use either. OK, um, Let's say, for example, I want to give two choices. I've invited friends to come over to my house and we're just going to have very, you know, something simple. I always, always, I always ask my guests, what would you like me to make for you? Because I want to know what they want and I want them to choose what they want. So there are no nasty surprises. OK, uh, we don't cook five different dishes like they do in Iran. Iran people are very good uh, cooks. They cook lots and lots of things. Uh, they cook lots of different meals and, and they, you know, do it really well. We don't do that here, sadly. Uh, but usually we just check with our guests. Yeah, so you're coming over on Sunday. Are you OK with barbecue? Do you like stew? Stew, like Khoresh. Do you like stew? S-T-E-W, S-T-E-W. Do you like stew, for example? Uh, do you like stew? Do you like Khoresh? Um, how are you with fish? How are you with fish? That means, do you like fish? So we usually just check with our guests just to make sure that they're okay. So now I want to give my guests a choice of two different foods and I want them to choose which one. 
I can say, for example, either uh, salmon and vegetables, or, for example, I can say uh, barbecue. So I want my guest to choose which one they want me to make for them. Either A or B. That means choose which one. Either A or B. So I'm asking my guest to choose. Let's say, for example, we're all friends and we want to go out. There's a group of us and we all want to go out, but we're not sure exactly where to go. So I'm going to say, right, um, either the park or the cinema. Which one? I am asking people to help me choose one of the two, either this or the other one. So this is when we have two choices, okay? Uh, either, either salmon or uh, barbecue. Somebody here has chosen salmon. Lovely. And we say salmon, salmon. We don't, we don't pronounce the l in salmon. I know in Farsi some people say salmon. Is that right? Um, in English we don't pronounce the l. We just call it salmon, salmon, which is very, very nice fish. Um, either the park or cinema. Fantastic. Yeah. So I've got two choices and I give both choices to my friend, my family, you know, kids, whoever. And I want them to choose this one or this one, either A or B. OK, either salmon and veg or something else. OK, lovely. Very good. So that's when we use it to give two choices. Yeah. Um, Another example, we want to go to a different city, we want to do a bit of sightseeing, so I might ask the kids either, I don't know, either Blackpool or London, which one shall we go to? Usually my kids like to choose Blackpool because of the beach, but whichever. Okay, lovely. Is everybody okay up to now? Uh, Mahdi R, when you say either, is there any option for both? Um, so either, yes, if, so I am asking when I say either, I only want you to choose one of them. I don't want you to choose both of them. Okay. I only want you to choose, I only want you to choose one of them. <coughs> Excuse me. Either salmon and veg or barbecue. But in the answer, when you're answering me, you can say both. OK, my question is I'm asking you to choose one, but you want both. That's fine. But in my question, I say either this or this. I want you to choose one of them. OK, uh, very good. Which pronunciation prefer either American or British either? Uh, well, I'm used to saying either, but you can use either. <laughs> you can use British or American. Um, either USA or Europe, yeah, uh, we can say either Benz or Pride, okay, <laughs> we can, uh, so far so good, but I need uh, work on it, I need to work on it, yes, yes you do, lovely, okay, uh, right, okay, okay, let's, let's continue, the next one that I have is uh, you might say to me, Leila, I'm torn. I'm torn. That means I can't choose. I'm torn. And that's an idiom, isn't it? I'm torn. Uh, that means I can't choose. I'm torn between, uh, for example, I'm going to give you two banks. I'm torn between NatWest Bank and TSB Bank. Leila, I'm torn between NatWest and TSB. Which one is better? Okay, so this is the question you're asking me. I'm torn between NatWest and TSB. For people who live uh, outside of the UK, I'm sure you already know, NatWest and TSB, these are just names of banks, okay? I'm torn between NatWest and TSB. Which bank is better, Leila? Um, now, I want to use either but I want to use it and it means both, okay? Either of these banks are good. 
either that means if you choose this one or if you choose this one both of them are good but i'm using the word either i'm not saying both i'm using the word either either tsb or natwest are good either either so either it can also mean both okay either 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 of these banks are good either of the banks are good either of the banks are okay lovely okay very good um so i'm just going to see uh please can you uh, could you please spell it spell what sorry oh the names <laughs> sorry <laughs> you want to spell the names of the banks um natwest n-a-t w-e-s-t natwest natwest and then t-s-b is just t-s-b yeah it's just three three letters if that's what you meant okay either of those banks are good yes so um you know the the um example i gave you before when i said either salmon and veg or barbecue I gave you two options. You can answer me and you can say both. That means, Leila, I want you to make both. Okay, fine, I'll make both. You can also answer me with either. That means if you make salmon and veg, that's fine. If you make barbecue, that's fine. So you're saying whichever, whichever, you're okay. Yeah, so you can use that as well. Either, either um torn torn yes um i'm torn it means i can't choose i can't decide i don't know which one torn t-o-r-n i'm torn 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 t-o-r-n torn torn t-o-r-n yes tune is different tune is completely different okay lovely uh either one is fine yeah russia 68 yes either one is fine lovely um i really appreciate it people who are helping each other out in the lesson you're a big help thank you so much you are a very big help as you can see i've been doing instagram live for as it two years now maybe just a little bit longer and I don't have a whiteboard behind me or a blackboard or anything I don't like to have my back to you I want you to see my face when I'm talking um, and when I'm talking of course I can't read the comments at the same time but a lot of you are helping each other out so it's like you're my little helpers I really appreciate it thank you um, whichever you choose, just don't go for Lloyd's. Really? Really? That's Moj Fayaz. Don't go for Lloyd's. Why is that? Do you have a bad experience with Lloyd's? Do you have a bad experience with Lloyd's? Um, I know quite a few people who bank with Lloyd's. That means that's their bank. I know a few people who bank with Lloyd's. Um, but yeah, I'm just wondering... What kind of experience you've had there are some banks uh, that are really good uh, I remember HSBC was a bit of a problem I had a problem with HSBC I wasn't happy with HSBC uh, many years ago um, they didn't give me good advice right before 2008 when the market crashed they didn't give me good advice they were very slow with their advice unfortunately so um oh too strict about security so that's why you don't like lloyds i see too strict about security i have a question though is um don't you think it's good if they i mean yeah you can have really really strict as well i get that yes but don't you think for a bank to be strict is a good thing don't get me wrong don't get me wrong don't get me wrong um don't get me wrong that means i don't want to upset you uh don't get me wrong <coughs> excuse me don't get me wrong um i have been in a situation where i've needed to use my bank 
urgently and I can't get into my online banking because I've forgotten a password, I've forgotten my memorable name or whatever and I phoned them up and they won't help me because they're really strict but I don't know, I think it's a good thing if they are strict, it just gives me that sense of security that my money is safe, I don't know, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. <laughs> um okay lovely very good let's go to the last one because we are getting close to 7 30. the last one is uh when i want to say for example um uh, i'm not keen on either that means i don't like either so if i say to you you're coming over on sunday fantastic um either salmon and veg or barbecue and you want to say leila i don't like salmon and veg and i don't like barbecue you say i'm not keen on either that means i don't like salmon and veg and i don't like barbecue give me another choice that's what it means i'm not keen on either the two choices you gave me Layla I don't like those two choices give me different choices yeah I'm not keen on either I'm not keen on either that means the two choices I don't like them or you can say I'm okay with either I'm okay with either so if you make salmon and veg Layla that's okay if you make barbecue that's okay it means I'm easy I'm easy whichever I don't mind okay I'm not keen on either so when somebody gives you two choices and you want to say I don't like that one and I don't like that one mm, I'm not keen on either I'm not keen on either okay um, you might give I don't know two choices about anything and the other person doesn't like those choices I'm not keen on either no I'm not keen on either uh, either, either, yes, either. I'm not keen on either. Yeah, I'm easy. I, I, I'm, I'm okay with either. I'm okay with either. So if you make salmon, you make barbecue. Both of them are good for me. Whichever one you choose, uh, I'm okay with either. I'm not keen on either. I don't like these. Give me a third option, Layla. Maybe you want me to make you rice and something. I don't know. I'm not keen on either. Okay. Lovely. So uh, these are the four different functions that we have for either. And uh, we use either a lot, obviously, in our conversation. Thank you very much to whoever it was who asked me to teach about either. I appreciate that. Uh, and I hope that this lesson has um, hopefully helped to explain either just a little bit and um, it's clarified it for you just a little bit okay um right okay um what's this oh yes um Ferial Afazeli yes uh, she will for a few days and will be moved into YouTube channel yes absolutely uh so uh, yes, this video will stay on my page. Thank you very much. This video will stay on my page and then it will move to YouTube, but I always save it, always save it. Okay, that is the end of this lesson. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for giving me your Sunday evening. Um, useful lesson, thank you. You made it useful. You guys made it useful. I'm just sitting here talking. You are the ones who made it useful. You are the ones who are constantly typing what I'm saying. You are the ones who are helping each other out. Honestly, it's priceless. It really is. Thank you so much. Um, very, very kind of you. Very nice of you. Uh, thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your evening, everybody. Okay. Take care. Thank you. Good night.